Welcome to another Nonsense Wars GBC thing. I'm calling this a new module, but it very much evolved from my original extensible chain lift. Previously, I wanted to avoid the big links since most GBC chain lifts use them, but building with the small links required other trade-offs uh, mostly with the loading mechanism that have proven more problematic than initially anticipated. The old design used single teeth to move balls up along a guiding channel. The small chain links have few connection options, and I felt that this implementation used one of the least suspect. Unfortunately, it also required additional agitation, and the classic spinner proved not up to the task. The input could fill relatively quickly, and once it filled completely, the tooth pushed balls up rather than around. This problem got worse when using the module with the slide and spin as the former stops while the latter reverses. These ran together at Bricks by the Bay since I wanted to pair the more thematically similar but more operationally reliable extensible tower with the auto dozer. The old chain lift got placed behind several much faster modules and subsequently got overwhelmed more than once. I decided it needed a fix. Most builders make wide link lifts with forks, uh, usually minifig telescopes or Technic pins with stops to carry balls. This geometry can load without a discrete agitator decreasing drivetrain complexity and increasing module reliability. Still, I put a spin on my build by implementing my existing gravity tensioner design, which can maintain chain tension without requiring perfect geometry. The actual drivetrain has more in common with my tiny wheel than the old chain lift. A drive shaft in the base connects to the lower sprocket with cranks. These connecting rods, like the ones on steam locomotives, use fewer parts and have less slop than chains. This overall arrangement allows me to add my shared power connectors. Uh, these of course run with a 1 to 5 reduction off of an M motor. I had much more trouble shaping the input bin, partly due to my old-fashioned studded construction. Enclosing the fork footprint needed half stud offsets in both directions, which resulted in a pair of somewhat fragile detached corners in the front. Perhaps in a future revision I can find a better way to make these, but for now they work well enough. At least this design does not need the columns of bricks to channel balls. Until I can redesign the slide and spin, I still need a compatible loader so I kept the unreverser on the output side. Along the way, I thought about building an unreverser into a shared power ramp to drive other directional modules, uh, including the not reversing elevator. I kept a simplified version of the thin chain lift as a demonstrator, but of course, all those directional modules need to run the same way for this to work. 
as usual, we will have to see about reliability once it runs at a show. I did notice that the chain starts kinking a bit after some running, but that might be from the small sprockets or insufficient tension. I added a wall to the output ramp to kill horizontal momentum, but now balls kick backward a little instead. On that note, this is the end of the video. Uh, please consider subscribing if you like what we do, and have a nice day.